uh, the first experience, uh, it opened up with a view. I was sitting at this uh, round table. Uh, it looked, um, and it was uh, more like an oval type of shape, very long in that way. Uh, and I was sitting at one of the heads of the table, uh, one of the kind of like the top parts, I guess you could say. Um, and around the table were all different kinds of body types. There was what looked like other human beings. There was uh, reptilians. There was uh, other alien body types, you know, blue people, you know, like whatever. There was all kinds of uh, um, beings there. And I knew that the idea of us gathering in such a way was to decide the future of the earth, that that's why we were meeting that, okay, what are we going to do for the earth and how can we make things better? How can we, you know, it was, that was the whole intent and idea was to really see what we can do for the earth. So I, I was very curious to see myself in that position, you know, um, kind of taking that on, you know, and being a part of something like that. It was very cool uh, for me to see. And anyways, as the meeting was kind of going on, uh, this little boy ran up to my left hand side. This young boy is maybe five years old at the most. Um, five or six years old, and he ran up to me on my left hand side, and he was golden. He was absolutely pure golden color, or at least he was shining gold. And he ran up to me on my left hand side, and it, I remember it drew my attention away from the meeting because he was shining so bright, it just caught my attention. It was very interesting that when wherever he walked, wherever this boy went, uh, around him would not be the normal surroundings. Like if I, you were to look at a person that was in the same room as you, excuse me, if you were to look at a person in the same room as you, uh, of course you could see the room behind them and you could see, you know, maybe even through their hair parts of the room or through their fingers parts of the room and stuff. Um, but around this boy, this golden boy, his aura was so strong that it was almost like it opened a portal to other places. So when you looked at him, you didn't see the other room. You saw what looked like fields of grass and, and natural settings. It was very, very interesting. Um, again, he couldn't have been more than five or six years old. He was only a couple feet tall, but he had that very strong presence. Um, so that was the first experience I wanted to share. Okay, and uh, the second experience, uh, it was uh, actually in the physical. I was uh, driving around in the car or riding around in the car with uh, my uncle, actually. We were going around, I think we were picking up my sister or something like that. But um, anyways, I looked into the sky and I had seen this plane. It looked like it caught my attention. Something about it had, it like popped out at me. And I remember I was watching it and it was a really far ways off. Um, but I was looking at it and something about it didn't look quite right. It just, it, even though I could tell it was a, at least the shape of a plane and it had the flashing green and red lights and, you know, all that jazz. And again, it had that general shape, but something just wasn't right about it. So I kept watching it and I kept watching it. And as it came closer, all of a sudden the image of the plane distorted it like shifted left left and went kind of like downwards. And then another part of it kind of went to the right hand side. So it was almost like it was being split open uh, in a sort of technological kind of way. And I could see it was actually an alien craft. It was very interesting because they're, they're, they're cloaking these alien crafts to look like regular planes so they can fly around and almost monitor in the daytime. It's very, very interesting uh, for me to see that. And I thought I kind of laughed because it was so funny that you know, you would look at it and you would think, oh, that's just a normal plane, you know, whatever. But it's actually them just sort of monitoring. That was kind of the idea or the intent that I could feel was it was they were sort of like keeping an eye on everything, you know, still monitoring. It's very interesting because it caught my attention from a ways off a distance. Just something about it didn't um, seem right. It didn't seem to quite fit the surroundings. Uh, but that was the second experience I wanted to share.